Hey everyone, so I have an anterior placenta. Again, this is my second pregnancy and I have it again. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show, I found this awesome picture online and when I thought of it, I was like, how does that work? My uterus is this way. So it's, this is a really good picture to show. Um, this is Mama Natural's picture. I love her YouTube channel, so go check that out. Um, but I'm just doing this so people can understand. Um, as you can see here, the placenta right here is in the front. So with me, um, I wasn't really able to feel my daughter kick my first one until I was in my 20 some week of pregnancy and I was never able to feel the crazy intense, you know, kicks and flips and all that. And I always wanted to, um, I said this in another video, as long as baby's healthy, that's all that matters. But I always wanted to see like the hand or the foot or the elbow like in my stomach. But as you can see, since the placenta acts like is a big cushion, I'm not going to be able to feel that as much as if my placenta was posterior. Posterior, posterior would be if it attached back here. Um, now placentas, um, unfortunately, can be lying low and cover the cervix or they can be up high, um, but mine is anterior, and I think it's more common than people think. So I just wanted to show this picture. Hopefully that helps somebody. Um, what else did I want to say about that? Yeah, oh, and the reason that, I, I guess there's no really official reason, but um, it's just basically where the um, fertilized egg implants into your uterus. So if it implants on this side, that's where the placenta is going to be. If it implants on this side, that's where the placenta is going to be. So just wanted to show that. Please subscribe, everyone, and have a good day.